In an interview with BBC Hausa, the first lady of the country, Mrs. Aisha Buari, stated that her husband's administration is being controlled by cabals. She also said that he knows just 10% of the people he appointed into power. She threatened that she is not going to vote or campaign for him come 2019 election if things does not change. We are out here on the street of Nigeria to ask everyday Nigerians if they believe that Buari's administration is being controlled by cabals. My name is Tolu and this is Street Pinions on Genius Radio TV. Click on the subscribe button right now and click on the bell icon to get notified on more videos like this. Yes, I believe so. I believe. Why? Oh, because his wife said so. His wife said so. His wife is a close person to him. He knows him better than you and I. About mm, actually, I may say that is a slip of tongue. Yeah, it should be a slip of tongue. The the what do they call it? Uh, uh, people that uh, the administration they are jack it all from him, or they are the, they are people that are controlling the husband to do this. He's a man of policy. And he know what is good for the country. What do you think about his wife knowing him more than we know him? Do you believe that in politics? Politics is a dirty game. If I happen to be your husband, you cannot know. But yeah, you cannot know. Yes, okay. because but let me tell you, okay. the reason why administration is being controlled by Kaba is how Nigeria was started. You understand me? Group of people that even take independent, they want all those things to be themselves. Okay. Till today, they are handing over to their association. Therefore, even though the one that is still coming, will still be controlled by Kaba. No administration that doesn't have Kaba. Okay, so you believe the Buari's administration has the Kaba? Yes. Even though if Atiku is there, he will have Kaba. What are the people that are that are bringing me in now. They may have something to say about it. Even though in the office, political, in the office, you must have Kaba. So, that Nigerian cannot do without Kaba. Uh, you know, with what we are seeing in our country, uh, I don't think he's doing it alone. Because if he's doing it alone, uh, this uh, problem we're having thought to have ended. Uh, so maybe I'll say it's he's, he's, he's being controlled. It's a question you and I have to answer. Yeah. To me, I, I, I don't actually believe in that. My belief is that Dwari, he has nothing to offer. As in, he, he don't even know what he's doing. That is my person, my own personally. Whether he's being controlled by a cabana or something, I don't care about that. As far as the president, he has to take the blame, every blame, that to me. That's it. So do you mean you should take the blame of being controlled by a cabal? Yeah. Sure, definitely. If if to me, if I'm a man to me I'm a man, someday I, I will have my own family. There is anything that happens within my family, I, I have to take the, the blame. The, I, I I'm to take the responsibility of my family. So I don't nobody cares whether my wife or my children or any other person is controlling the family but anything that goes wrong to the family is is my own blame I, I i will take the blame then okay should i say you are like admitting that his wife is actually truthful by saying his, his administration is being controlled to me it's a campaign of ballyhood that is a campaign so i don't actually believe his wife is say this is it's a campaign so they can he can she can say whatever she like to say she actually stated that she might not campaign for him if it continues like that. What do you see about that? You see, to me, personally, I am not a politician. You know why? I love politics, but due to Nigeria politics, I don't believe, as in, they have nothing to offer. I don't expect anything from them. Even to me, whether she might say something or I don't care. Because I don't work with government. I don't achieve anything from government. I, this road, I, I pay for this road to park, go to Togwe to pay, electricity will pay, water will pay. We, we, we don't benefit anything from, from this government, so definitely I, I don't even care. In fact, I, I, can't, I can't just say, the man is just, it's not just there as president, he's not doing anything. It's, in fact, I don't think he's the one that is running this country, even if he's the one, he's just there as president. 
no project you know creating hunger everywhere people are suffering you know people are even like now how many people have, i've seen like three or four people begging me money just because of hunger not even that they are amplet or whatever able human beings just because you know that, 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 that there's no money anywhere that he has no good policy yes so you believe he's being controlled by yeah, he's being controlled even if he's controlled is he not a human being for him to control his government he has nothing he has nothing to offer um actually for the wife to see that kind of a thing definitely she knows better than we the outsider so she must have witnessed or see some things or she must have noticed her husband cannot take control of the whole nation so possibly i believe there's a cover somewhere yes i believe why sir um, because of our Buari, real, real about the person. I, I believe in Buari somehow. But the people around him are corrupt people. And with Kabaz and the bad Kabaz he has, cannot make him forward. And Buari himself, I just see he's, he's, he's very nice, he's sincere, but he doesn't have any business idea. If his wife says so, then it is true because nobody knows him more than his wife. If the wife says so, then it is true. So I believe.